So we're Getty. Quantum computing just had a 30% day in the stock market. This is on news that Rigetti has demonstrated the industry's largest multi-chip quantum computer. I want to go in this video deep into that news. We're going to look at the news. We're going to break it down. We're going to look at Rigetti as a company. We're going to do a little bit of a react to Rigetti's YouTube. And we're going to look at this financials and stock chart. And we're going to do this in like 12 minutes. So if you like content like this, hit the like button. Let's get right into it. All right, so Rigetti is one of the most popular pure plays out there as far as quantum computing goes. And what sets them apart is they're building quantum computers in a modular way. But don't take it from me, let's hear from Rigetti. In addition to that, in the last year and a half or so, we recently started building QPUs. These QPUs go under the brand name Novera. They're relatively small qubit count systems, but they're designed essentially as a plug and play alternative to a big full on-prem system that you might have to purchase yourself. They're focused predominantly on research and education activities, but we know that folks are using for a variety of those activities and other production-oriented activities. Seems like they make really good entry points into the beginnings of error correction analysis as well. Our technology is open, it's modular, it's constructed in a way that it's easy for our partners, our customers to get in there and to experiment, to swap pieces in and out. But a second piece is the people side. We see ourselves as pursuing science. We see ourselves as citizens in a scientific community. So Rigetti already outside of the gate, and you guys probably noticed we're Rigetti Teal in the studio today. That's Rigetti's colors. We are excited about Rigetti here. And Rigetti is one of the only quantum plays that is open and scalable and modular. So as quantum computing catches on and more and more players enter into quantum computing and building quantum machines, who are they gonna look at to buy these parts? So Rigetti has already their cloud product, but now they also have scalable architecture as well. Okay, so now it's time to look at the news release that shot Rigetti up over 30% in one day. Remember, many people are happy getting eight to 12% over the S&P index in an entire year. And Rigetti just returned to investors 30% in a single day. Let's take a look at the article. So Rigetti has demonstrated the industry's largest multi-chip quantum computer, which halves its two qubit gate error rate. This 99.5% median two qubit gate fidelity on the modular 36 qubit system is a 2x reduction in median two qubit gate error rate from Rigetti's previous best results on its 84 qubit single chip Anka 3 system. Composed of four nine qubit chips, chiplets tied together, the 36 qubit system is based on Rigetti's proprietary modular chip technology and unlocks the company's path to building 100 plus qubit chiplet based systems. Rigetti plans to launch its 36 qubit system on August 15th and remains on track to release its 100 qubit chiplet based system at 99.5% median two qubit gate before the end of 2025. So they're delivering on their roadmap. And we did hear about this chiplet approach. So this is something also that Nvidia has done. Instead of trying to cram more and more and more on one chip, you build an array of chips and all the chips are tied together via a hardware link. And then you have a mega chip. And that's what they're doing. So there's this proof of concept shows that their technology is on pace. They're delivering on their benchmarks. And what do you think is going to happen to Rigetti later this year if they're able to deliver that 36 qubit system on August 15th and release a 100 qubit chiplet based system by the end of 2025? We're just getting started with Rigetti. Rigetti's party hasn't even begun yet. As Dan Ives would say, it's 9 a.m. and the party goes until 4 a.m. for Rigetti. And let's take a look at what CEO Dr. Kulkarni said. We benefit from the many advantages of superconducting qubits, including gate speeds more than 1,000 times faster than other modalities like ion trap and pure atoms and scalability. By leveraging well-known techniques from the semiconductor industry, we've developed proprietary technology that we believe is critical to enable scaling to higher qubit count systems. 
We look forward to sharing more updates when we release our operating results for the second quarter of 2025. Very much looking forward to that earnings call and hearing more from Rigetti. A couple other things I wanted to talk about with y'all for Rigetti. So if this is if you're new to Rigetti or you saw this stock go up 30% today and you're like, what the heck is going on with this quantum computer company? Well, Quanta, a company that invested early in Apple and NVIDIA, has agreed to Rigetti and Quanta have agreed to invest 250 million each over the next five years, focusing on complementary strengths to develop superconducting quantum computing technologies. In addition to that, Rigetti completed ATM this year. I'm going to put the link on the screen. And essentially that ATM bolstered their cash position. So Rigetti is in a rock solid cash position to continue their research and development and delivering on this roadmap as we're seeing today. So investors were very excited about this progress and this announcement. I also wanted to bring to your attention that Cantor Fitzgerald has a bullish take. They initiated coverage on D-Wave QBTS, IonQ, ticker symbol IONQ, and Rigetti RGTI on the same day, and they gave Rigetti a $15 price target. We already surpassed $15 today. Today, by the end of 2025, now I've personally given Rigetti a $25 price target. And if you'd like to go see that video, I'm gonna put that on the screen. Okay, so we know what Rigetti does. We know that they're in a good cash situation and we know the stock's performing well. So what do they look like on a balance sheet and what's coming next? We're gonna go into the stock chart, but essentially we've seen a pretty big explosion from 2024 up to now with some volatility and, and bumpy rides along the way. Right now, Rigetti is not creating a lot of revenue. They had a quarter, two quarters ago, where they were burning a lot of cash. The operating income is currently negative. The free cash flow, while lumpy, is starting to trend in the right direction if we go back to 2021. The cash in equivalents, this was updated the last quarter, their ATM was completed, so they actually have something more to the effect of 400 or 500 million of assets and very little liabilities, which gives them a lot of runway, the, the three or four years runway, which also happens to tie with Dr. Kulkarni's vision that these computers will be commercial and that is also in the Needham interview where he talks about that four-year timeline. Could that timeline be accelerated? We've seen IonQ accelerate their timeline. We've seen Quantinuum accelerate their timeline. Perhaps Rigetti may accelerate their own timelines as they're delivering already on schedule. All right, now let's look at the stock performance for Rigetti, ticker symbol RGTI. We can see around December of 2024, the stock was trading around a dollar to three to four dollars. We had a huge explosion up with the quantum euphoria, the quantum frenzy. This was started by Google and their announcement of the Willow chip. Shortly after this euphoric phase, Jensen Huang, CEO of NVIDIA, knocked the stocks down with his bearish take that quantum computing was 15 to 20 years away. However, he has changed his tune about that. I'll put that on the screen. And now what we're seeing is we're seeing consistent uptrend for Rigetti. I'm gonna bring some more data into the chart so you can actually see what I'm looking at and the levels that I'm looking at. So it actually blasted through this $15.33 key level today. Why is 15.33 important? Because previously there were multiple rejections off 15.33 and really, we don't have much price history above 1533. What happened last time it went past 1533 is it made its all time highs. So now you're like, hmm, that's a pretty green candle. And in the scope of Rigetti, where does it go from here? So I'm going to bring your attention to this price range, which is this 1533 to 2143, the top of the wick touch here. So really, Rigetti is in something, somewhat of a price discovery mode. So if the optimism and the enthusiasm stays in place for Rigetti, 
could it be testing its all-time high sooner rather than later? I'll present to you a couple of quick cases and then we're going to get out of here. So in a bearish case, I could see Rigetti coming back down under 1533 and going and getting caught maybe on 1245. Maybe it would come down to that rising support. So I'm going to extend that out. So for the purposes of what we're, we're talking about, maybe the enthusiasm wanes, it comes down and maybe there's some bounces like this. That would be a bearish case in my base case, in my base case, I think Rigetti is likely to come up, reject off 21 and maybe find support on 15 and kind of trade in this 15 to 21. Now my bullish case, we push right through 2143 and we're in price discovery. And then, hey, maybe that thumbnail where I said 25 for Rigetti, maybe I'll turn out to be right. All right, guys, so that's everything I got for you. I hope you enjoyed this content. If you haven't already, please consider leaving a like. It helps a lot of people see these videos and get this information so we can stay educated and informed as investors. Really enjoyed putting together this video for you guys. We'll see you in the next one.